Hello, air signs. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa, and it's so great to have everyone here. I'm here right now looking to all the well, all the air signs, February the 8th and February the 9th is 2024. Happy birthday to the sign of Aquarius. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday season. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this energy and see what we have down here for all the air signs. And here's Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Before we jump into this, I want to go ahead and say that my puppy, he is right down here. Okay, so if you start moving or anything like that, I want to go ahead and point him out right now so don't freak you out or anything like that. Okay, so let's see what we have here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, this right here, this is air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Six of Cups is reversed right here. Not going back there, not doing that, something like that. Okay, what's the message right here, please, for air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Look at that. The emperor is reversed. I just said this to somebody. I forgot who it was, but emperor reverse. Somebody's overdoing their control somewhere over here. Somebody's not going back to them. I feel right here. Six of cups reverse. They're not going to go back to them. They're overdoing their control. You know? They're not right here. Yeah. I feel like it's too hard to overdo their control. Right? Or something like that. It's too hard. The cycle's over, I feel. They're not going back there, I feel. Yeah, they have clarity. Okay. Yeah. They have clarity. They are fraud or they are scam or whatever. They have clarity or something like that. They're not going back to them. I feel right here. You know, so that's for the way that it is. <laughs> okay, what's the message right here, please? Yeah, this could be somebody's twin flame, maybe. Hmm. Could be. I feel like a twin flame energy could have went karmic or this somebody had ascension, I feel, you know. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, something is definitely wishful thinking, I feel. I feel like you're intuitive right here, you know. You have ascension, you're intuitive right here, you know, and everything like that. Some secret is too hard to keep from you and everything like that. So somebody's not going to look back to them. I feel like they did have awakening that you're not looking back to them anymore or something like that. They definitely got the clarity right here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They have insight right here and right here. Ten, two of oh, uh, Pentacles reverse. That's the clarity right here with both of these two. All right, that you have insight about something that you do know about, something they was doing or they did do, something like that, you know. That you're very much consciously aware. Could be about a magic spell or anything else, but you're consciously aware about something here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, nine of swords right here and a fool. So, you know, somebody does, you know, feel kind of foolish. I feel like, you know, they give them anxiety right here. You know, I feel like they could really be feeling this. See how this one, like the aura is all, it's all, you know, it's a lot of tears in this aura right here. Yeah. So, you know, they have some um, self-work to do or something like that, I feel, you know. Somebody do. It could be an Aries or anybody else. It could be. What's the message right here? Six of Cups reverse. Yeah, a Taurus right here. All right. Or they feel foolish about a marriage or something like that. Some marriage is complete, I feel, right here. Yeah, definitely the sex. The sex is completed or something like that. Yeah, I feel. This definitely could be a marriage right here, right? And with the world card, I feel like some cycle completed with a marriage for some people right here. Okay. Somebody's not looking back to a marriage right here, okay? They're not. I feel like they made a decision. And definitely about sex right here, I feel. You know, they could have made a decision about sex for some people right here. I feel like sex is definitely completed with some marriage right here for some people. I feel like even communication could be. So this could be a a uh, estranged husband or a strange wife. Could be somebody here. Because I feel like they're not even talking, I feel, right here. So this is definitely a, a breakup, I feel, for some people. They're not looking back right here. Okay. I feel like overdoing the control is definitely wishful thinking in some way. You know, that's wishful thinking right here, I feel. There's even because sometimes the emperor reverse, they're not saying anything. They're just letting somebody walk all over them. That's wishful thinking in some way. It's wishful thinking that somebody that's gonna walk all over them. It's some type of way somebody could somebody else could be figuring out then. Could be the case with the high priestess. Maybe somebody else does know the secret or something like that. But I feel like is somebody not saying something or just let them walk over them. That's wishful thinking. Of For some people, I feel like that's definitely wishful thinking right here. Yeah, they're stuck. I feel like they could be stuck right here some type of way. Yeah, it's wishful thinking they can hold on to you or something like that. Okay. You're not looking back to something like that, I feel. They even could be explore other other lovers or I don't know if they do BDSM with other people or something like that. See how these these right here have locks and then emperor reverse. So they could be into BDSM, but they don't have to be, but maybe they are for some people here. Okay. I feel like somebody's not looking back to them because they are BDSM or they be looking into other people or something like that. Okay. Is the message right here, please? 
Yeah, because maybe they want somebody to be submissive and you're not. Could be the case for some people here, okay? Yeah. So this definitely could be a wife for some people right here. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like it's wishful thinking they can hold on to the wife right here. In some way right here. It's wishful thinking right here. I feel like somebody's free. You see that lock right there? It's open. Somebody's free. Something's a missed opportunity, I feel, for some people right here. Now, their plans could have been to control the wife or something like that, but I just feel like it's not going to work. Somebody not be able to control the wife or the wife right here is not be able to control you. I feel like you're not going to be controlled by the wife or the wife is not. Somebody's not here. I feel like somebody's not submissive, maybe. Maybe we have two dominant people here. It, it, even if it is a man or a woman or, you know, a man and a woman or whatever. I feel like somebody, both these people are dominant. I feel like somebody's not going to be submissive right here to somebody here. Somebody. And I feel like that was their plan right here, was to control the wife or to control them, whoever they are, the father or somebody. You know, they, that's what they were thinking. They even could have thought right here, if they don't say anything right here, they'd be able to control the wife or whoever else here, right? And I feel like that's not going to work in some way, not saying something right here. It's a missed opportunity if they don't say anything then. Something like that. Because I just feel like somebody's intuitive and they know everything about this situation, I feel, right here. Okay, now this could be the person that's in a relationship or even could be somebody on the outside that's realizing something right here about something could be the case. I feel. What's the high priestess right here in the Ten of Wands? Yeah, okay. There's somebody's cheating and lying, I feel. Somebody's intuitive. They know that somebody's cheating and lying or they know that somebody's creeping with somebody here or somebody's submissive or dominant or whatever else. Something like that I'm getting. <laughs> What's the message right here, please? Ten of Wands right here in the high priestess. Yeah, three of swords here. Yeah, some of you, you heal from the situation, okay? Uh, I feel like for some of you, somebody knows it's a third party here, okay? But Eva could be right here. Somebody's heartbroken right here now. So it's too hard, hard to hide some secret from somebody right here. A water sign or whoever else it could be. But it's too hard right here to hide the water sign or to hide from the water sign. Something like that is too hard to do in some way, I feel. You know, somebody does know they, you know, they could be ex exploring other lovers. They may already know that. Yeah, it, you know, I feel like they're not victorious in some situation right here because I just feel like right here, the conflict is that they want a third party or something like that. You know, that's the conflict here. I feel like it's needless drama. They can't control them. They're not submissive or something like that. You know, maybe somebody was thinking they was, I feel, you know, or maybe somebody here did think right here they would get their admiration or something. I, I feel like they're not. I feel like somebody here is, um, you know, they're in a dominant position as well, whoever it is here. Okay. They're not going to submit to this, I feel, some of the people here. They're not. Okay. There could be a third person here that maybe they will. But I feel like they, the, the other people is not. Somebody's not. Okay. So, Ten of Swords right here. Right? It's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of a difficult situation. And that's the truth right here. I feel like with this, this card right here, somebody has clarity. They're juggling. They know that right here, I feel. You know. Yeah, now the cups of verse. It's not with fulfillment. Okay, something here is not with fulfillment right here. Trying to make somebody conform to something they don't want to do or trying to make somebody here be submissive when they're not going to for some people here. You know? You know? They even could have had a baby with them or they had three of pentacles or maybe that's what they was planning to do. Somebody had clarity right here exactly what they was planning to do. Maybe they was planning to get them pregnant. Maybe they was planning to, you know something right here but i just feel like that you know somebody's not going to anymore either anymore or they're not going to do it at all something like that so it could get either one of those kind of way because i feel like with a ten of swords right here maybe somebody has clarity and now they're not going to do something and then all this right here you know um this is just the end here i feel so it's not wish fulfillment somebody knows that once they realize that you know i feel like somebody's not gonna be submissive anymore or they're not gonna let them tie them up anymore or something like that they're not going to do it, i feel you know they would feel like they're powerless at getting money from you when you know there's a third party here or you know they was trying to get somebody pregnant or you know that they was trying to make you be submissive or something like that, you know. And this could be a, a man eater that's here, right here with this one right here. Could be a man eater here or something like that, you know. Somebody has the plans of whatever somebody was doing, you know. 
if they was tying them up or they want to tie other people up or whatever they was doing you know i feel like somebody does know something like that okay they even could be lusting i feel like something here that somebody be doing is real kinky here sexually in some way you know you know so that's what i'm getting somebody knows they have something yeah what's the message here please yeah sexually right here you know Somebody's intuitive, I feel. They know something about sex right here. I feel like, you know, it's going to be a challenge right here for somebody here now, I feel, in some way. Okay, they have insight right here now. It's not what you're filming to them. They have clarity. They be juggling or they have clarity, you know, they on both sides of the fence or something like that. They have clarity, something like that, I feel. Yeah, and that's the turning point. Once somebody has got some clarity or, or something like that. So I feel like somebody's a regret now right here that somebody did have the clarity about whatever happened here or what's going on. Which could be something about lusting or who they're lusting with or submissive or dominate or whatever. Something like that. Okay, so we have right here your six of swords right here. And a judgment. So I feel like somebody here did make a judgment just to move on from the situation right here. Because they have clarity about something or somebody here some way. You know, so that's what I have here. Okay. Thank you so much for taking a look. I say you all peace, blessings, love, and light. And we'll get back together again soon. Okay. Namaste to you.